Went out one night with a bunch of friends, chilling. We drank a lot that night, we got crazy. It was around Halloween, stole a bunch of pumpkins from a farm, put them all in the trunk of a car. Next thing I realized that we're standing over an intersection with little 20 pound pumpkins, throwing them off, hitting cars on the highway. And the last one we dropped was a big 50 pound pumpkin. When we dropped the last pumpkin, we ran. Two days later on the news, we heard that it was a serious accident. 50 pound pumpkin went through a windshield of a car, injuring the lady very bad. The driver had glass in his eye. The woman broke her jaw, her collarbone, a couple of her ribs. Maybe like two weeks passed by and I found myself in handcuffs outside my school. All my friends watching me, getting put back in the back seat of a state trooper's car. Most of my friends drink. Um, most of the people I know who go to school drink. But I just don't have the desire and I just, I just choose not to. Do your friends give you a hard time? Do you ever feel awkward in certain situations because you made that, you know, decision? Yeah, definitely because they think that I'm a goody two-shoe, I need to loosen up, you know. I don't think that in order for me to have fun, I need to drink. It makes me upset when I see, you know, women boasting about this and saying, yeah, you know, I drink and I party. Sometimes when you start drinking, you keep drinking, and it's more powerful than you are. And it's, you know, it's sad to admit that, but that happens on occasion, and it happens to a lot of people. I wouldn't say that it's more powerful than you are. I think that you're given alcohol of that power. Me and my friends would uh, invite a bunch of girls over to my house, where we were drinking, hanging out, and uh, try to get them drunk. We'd uh, talk them into drinking, saying, yeah, we're all drinking, just having a good time, it's the weekend, or whatever. And uh, when they got drunk, we tried to take advantage of it, um, try to hook up, um, have sex, or try to get whatever we could get out of them. The law of requires consent among participants in sexual acts, any sexual act. Um, and if one of those participants is not capable of rendering consent because that, because that person is too drunk, um, that's non-consensual. So if the boy, for instance, is stone cold sober and the girl is blind drunk, she can't consent to that act under the law. She is incapacitated under the law. So it's not only what you're responsible for what you do and what you consume, but to some extent you're responsible for who you're doing it with. It's sort of sad when you look back at like the reality you were living in that you didn't have to be living in and you put things like alcohol into your life. It's like that party fantasy, like great time you were living in. It's just sort of like, diminishes. I mean, you always wish that you can go back in time and fix all the stuff that you did wrong, but in actuality, you can't. What's done is done, but your consequences and your actions can seriously hurt people around you and yourself.